Well, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Greg Kauser. I'm a pastor here at Emmanuel. I know for many of you that are seeing this video, uh, you don't need me to introduce myself. Uh, but if you're here and, and you're clicking on for the first time, I just want to welcome you. If you're returning uh, in our series in Romans, I'm so glad that you're here. And I just want to encourage you uh, to keep studying. I want to encourage you to uh, get a notebook if you don't have one, and they're in the back of the auditorium. And if you do have one, uh, keep at it. Uh, try to do a little bit every day if you can. Uh, make a few observations at the beginning of the week. Try to summarize the passage as we work our way through. Um, work on our memory verse, which is 1, 16, and 17 is where we are right now. It's actually going to be the passage we're going to preach on this coming Sunday. And, um, and think about uh, opportunities that you have to share what God is learning and what God is teaching you, uh, whether or not it's uh, you want to ask somebody a question or you want to tell them something that God has been teaching you or something that you've uh, just become aware of that has just uh, knocked your socks off that you want to tell somebody about. So I hope you're studying. hope you've got your notebook. hope you're writing things down uh, as you're doing that. And uh, don't lose your notebook. If you've got your notebook at church uh, somewhere, it's going to be out there on the racks if you've maybe left it. But please uh, keep hold of those and uh, join us in the study. Where we are now in the study is we're, uh, we've covered the opening seven verses of the introduction to the letter altogether. And then Pastor Steve, just this last week, took us through chapter 1, uh, verses 8 through 15, and we talked about the character qualities of the faith of Paul and of the people in Rome. So, appreciate Pastor Steve taking us through that. To this coming week, we're going to be in 1, 16 and 17. And this is uh, an important uh, two verses that almost all interpreters see as the statement of Paul's theme. And really it's going to be the ideas that he's going to develop all the way through the book of Romans. So even many interpreters use the uh, quotation from Habakkuk uh, to actually be a little bit of a precursor, a little bit of a, a, an overview of the major divisions that are yet to come. So we're going to see in chapters 1 through 8 of how one, uh, or chapters 1 through 4, about how one becomes right with God by faith. In chapters 5 through 8, we're going to see how we live out that life by faith. Um, and then he's going to deal with a problem uh, that's arisen uh, from the fact that the Jews have rejected the gospel by and large in chapters 9, 10, and 11. And then by the time we get to chapter 12, he's going to apply um, this new life to this new community to bring them together. So, so we're going to go into a very, very important passage this time. And I want to encourage you. Uh, to look ahead, and it's not a big passage this time, so you can look at it in quite detail uh, and come uh, looking forward to talk about it. Now, as we think about uh, the verses themselves, uh, one of the things that is so striking is the very first phrase in those two verses, I am not ashamed of the gospel. And really that's Paul's central statement, and he says that because he just said in the previous verse that he looks forward to sharing the gospel with them. And it brings up the idea that the gospel is not just for unbelievers who need to come to know Christ, but the Romans are believers. There's truths in the gospel that are necessary, as people often say, that we need to have the gospel preached to us as Christians as much as unbelievers need to hear the good news about what God has done in Christ. And so the passage is even going to define the gospel, even though we're going to do that a little bit, but he's really going to give two reasons why he's not ashamed. And so one of the things that we're going to reflect on in particular this Sunday is, am I, are you, are we ashamed of the gospel? And what does it look like if we are ashamed? How would we know that we're ashamed? Most of us, if we were confronted by that, we would say, oh, no, 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 I'm not ashamed of the gospel. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. But uh, is that true of us at our work? Is it true of us at school? Is it true of us in our extended family? Is it true of us in our neighborhood? What, what, how would we even know that we're ashamed of the gospel? And what would it look like if we're unashamed? And those are two questions that 
we're going to probe. What does it look like? How did you? How, how would you know that you're ashamed? What are the marks of being ashamed of the gospel? And then second, you know, what would it look like if you're unashamed? How would that change the way you live, the way you think, the way you interact with people? So please come this week. Uh, come prepared. Read, study, and we'll look forward to talking that together, uh, both as a congregation and in our one another groups. So God bless you.